Desai is rigorous in his approach to research, tackling tough problems that might seem impossible to others. Using a multi-pronged experimental approach, along with his creativity, persistence, and an intense passion for finding answers, his investigations are at the forefront of some exciting discoveries in structural biochemistry. Dr. Sai combines structural biology with molecular biology, biochemistry, and protein chemistry to study how large, complex, energy-dependent molecular machines operate in a cell. His most notable scientific achievement was determining the three-dimensional structure of CLIP-B, a large multi-subunit molecular chaperone. His work could someday lead to a better understanding of protein aggregation disorders and perhaps finding a cure for human diseases, such as Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. Francis is really one of those kind of scientists that you always like to have as a colleague because he's basically fearless in his approach to science and willingness to take on really significant challenges. Today, the Welch Foundation honors this rising star with the Norman Hackerman Award in Chemical Research for his pioneering contributions to structural biology and biochemistry. Named in honor of longtime former Scientific Advisory Board Chairman Norman Hackerman, this award recognizes young chemical researchers in Texas who are performing original groundbreaking work in basic chemistry. I must say we are very, very happy and pleased to see that Francis Tsai has won the Hackerman Award of Welch Foundation. Francis is young, smart, well-trained, and very ambitious, and I think he works hard. Born in Germany, Dr. Sai had first-hand exposure to science from a very early age. Both his parents are biochemists, and growing up in a scientific household, he was greatly influenced to pursue a career in chemistry. My parents were the first scientists who introduced me to the field of structural biochemistry. That's a a young boy, basically, my father was taking me to his laboratory at the National Institute for Biotechnology where we were growing salt crystals. And that was probably the first introduction to actually growing crystals and seeing uh, what these crystals can actually do. Following in the footsteps of his parents, Dr. Sai earned his undergraduate degree in chemistry and biochemistry from the Imperial College of Science, Technology and Medicine. He received his doctoral degree from the University of Oxford and pursued his postdoctoral training at Yale University in the lab of the late Paul Siegler. In 2000, he joined the faculty at Baylor College of Medicine and in 2007 was promoted to associate professor in the Department of Biochemistry and Molecular Biology. At Baylor, Dr. Sai's research focuses on determining the atomic structure of molecular chaperones transcription regulatory complexes, and components of the protein quality control system. He and his group use X-ray crystallography and single particle electron cryomicroscopy to provide intimate snapshots of these molecular machines. Dr. Sai combines those structural approaches with biochemical and biophysical studies such as fluorescence-based measurements and peptide array technology to understand how these molecular machines operate in a cell. The most important contributions that Francis Sai has made at Baylor has been his determination of structures involving the CLIP-B protein. This is a protein that is involved in recognizing and processing aggregated proteins. And this is an enormously important problem because of the tremendous impact it has on human disease. Using a multi-pronged approach, Dr. Sai and his group have determined the three-dimensional structure of the CLIP-B hexamer. Examining its structure and probing the structure-function relationship by chemical cross-linking not only provided a detailed mechanistic understanding of CLIP-B chaperone activity, but also inspired the design of a novel protein disaggregating degrading machine that has never been seen before in nature. Francis, I think, very early in his career, established uh, leadership in a very important class of proteins, and that's the molecular chaperones. 
uh, his structure of clip B uh, was just beautiful. When you first saw it, you just realized this is important. Uh, this is interesting, it's something new. In other work, Dr. Sai and his team are interested in understanding the structural basis of transcription regulation, specifically the RNA polymerase II system and how it's regulated by proteins that activate transcription. These are two distinct areas that my lab is pursuing, but the common theme among these is basically it's a complex biological system of which very little is known, and we are basically using chemical, biochemical techniques to really address the questions. Francis is the kind of person who, I think, comes to work every day wanting to solve a new problem and learn something new about nature. When he's not in his second home in the lab, Dr. Sai enjoys spending time with his wife, Sukyong Lee, and their children, Joshua and Annika. Basically, my family at home is my first family, and my lab at Baylor is my second family. In a way, it is good to have two families because it keeps one focused on each other. Dr. Lee, a structural biologist, has worked closely alongside her husband for a number of years, beginning when they were both doing postdoctoral training at Yale. After a brief courtship, they were married in 1999. We work together in the lab and we also go home together and take care of kids together. So. As you can imagine, there are good sides and bad sides both. I would say it makes our life easier because we really know what we are talking about and you don't need to explain too much or what it needs to be done, why it is important. That sort of a thing just goes by very natural. Working with my wife has been a very great experience. She's my closest collaborator and the greatest critic of my work at the same time. So I rely on her inside on keeping me on track that I'm not drifting off too much. In addition to his research, Dr. Sai is highly committed to teaching and mentoring his students and postdocs. He also directs a successful course in advanced X-ray crystallography. The X-ray crystallography course that Francis Sai has taught has been extremely well received. Uh, a number of students uh, take it every year and it receives very high praise from the uh, participants in terms of what they learn and uh, Dr. Sai's uh, effectiveness as a teacher. Teaching is a very important aspect of our work or teaching and training. In a way it's what we research, what we find can only be important if we pass this on to the next generation. A superb scientist, teacher, and academic leader, Dr. Sai is a good example of someone who has a passion for his work, along with a great deal of determination to solve complex biological problems using chemistry. Francis is demanding of himself and of his students and postdocs to ask questions, to get answers, to produce results. And to a large part, it's that demand that's resulted in this award. For his commitment to basic science, his originality and scientific achievement, the Welch Foundation salutes Francis Sai as the recipient of the 2008 Norman Hackerman Award in Chemical Research. <laughs>